So if you're like me, you've probably started to notice that modern schooling system doesn't always translate to the real world. Well, here in Fort Wayne, we're doing something about it. Today, we're gonna take a tour of Amp Lab. It's a cutting edge new school, trying to prepare students for success later on. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Riley Johnson. He's the director here at Amp Lab. We spoke about two years ago, yeah. did a podcast together. It was just a concept at this time, at that time. So it's really cool seeing this come together. But for people who don't know, what is Amp Lab? Yeah, so Amp Lab is a half day program for juniors and seniors. It's really focused all around um, developing the entrepreneurial spirit, um, innovative thinking, um, and using the design process to both um, seek problems out and then try and find uh, or attempt to find solutions to those problems. Okay, well, let's take a little tour of the place. All right, so here we're in the first room. Uh, tell us a little bit about this space and what it's meant for. Yeah, so this is our Three Rivers Venture Studio. And so Three Rivers Federal Credit Union is our, our partner for this space. Um, it is really focused on concept development, ideation, um, bringing um, things from that rough draft to mm -hmm. really start to solidify. And so it's very much an open collaboration space, really focused on bringing the people together. And what's something like, do you have an example of something they might work on in this yeah. space? So right now we've got um, groups working on their own business ventures, uh, marketing or a product development strand. So a, a lot of the companies in here um, might have a merchandising element. And so this was really the studio that best fitted their ability to take that idea and really go through the process of how do I turn it into actual something. Okay, great. And, and what kind of companies are they working with here? In the Venture Studio, we had a, did a partnership with um, a woman named Angie Hayden, who owns Angie B Original, female minority um, solopreneur. We've got a relationship with Do It Best. Okay. And so really when you look at that spectrum of whether it be a large corporation or a one you know, one woman, one man band, um, the, you know, the kids have the opportunity to work with them. And the idea is solving real world problems that if they eventually move on to work with one of these employers, these are the examples that they're gonna be working on. So they're working on, you know, working as a group, solving real world yeah. problems, and maybe not memorizing versus traditional school, which is like me memorizing information and putting it back on a paper. This is like actually real world application for problem solving, is yeah, that the idea? So I think I think really we focused on whether it's a business or organization bringing us a problem or students, you know, chasing a problem through creating their own company. It really is the problem solving, um, the mindset, the tools and resources um, to really unpack um, the true meaning behind problems and then decide what's the right course to navigate um, as they seek solutions to those problems. That's great. All right, so what do we got going on in here? Yeah, so this is our, our fab lab, which is inside our, our Miro Center Make Studio. So really, um, this is where ideas truly come to life. And so, um, as you see, we've got CNC machines, um, laser engraver, laser cutter, the ability to do all types of wood and, and metal work. Um, but really, um, we wanted to have a space where if you and I had an idea for a product, um, that we had the tools and resources in-house um, to you know, try to, to bring it to life. I love it. So like we were talking about entrepreneurship and starting your own business, if that business involves some sort of small manufacturing, they can execute on it in here. 100%. This space has been so valuable because a student might not um, pursue a construction or engineering or manufacturing experience, but because it's um, embedded in who we are, what we've seen is kids that have never touched a tool um, have really gained That's me growing up new skills yeah. um, in this space. So you know, as you see, we have three girls that have never built a thing in their life working on a little free library um, concept. Um, yeah, really so you're tapping into the creativity and then also like executing on it because ideas are great too, but you gotta be able to execute on them. So it sounds like you're able to 
kind of see an idea start to finish mm -hmm. with Very this much place. So. So. And, and then the nice thing is, is what we found is then if we need to go scale, that's where our relationships in the community come into play, where students might develop their, their working prototype in-house. And then if they need to make a hundred of them, what's it look like for us to leverage, you know, one of those relationships in the community. I love it. This place is getting me fired up. Yeah. <laughs>
um, to really chase um, opportunities across the spectrum of the sciences. And so it's been really fun to see them take ownership of literally bringing life uh, to the space. Okay, and then I think you told me you donate the food yeah, locally. So the, yeah, so the nice thing is we really have the freedom and opportunity to find the best outlet. And so whether that be community good and, and we just give it away, or if an entrepreneurial endeavor pops up, we can pursue that. But the nice thing is, is because this isn't doesn't need to be a revenue generator, we can really focus on how do we do positive things in our community. And how are you selecting the children that get to be here? I know when we spoke a couple years ago, the idea was you wanted to get an accurate representation of Fort Wayne Community Schools. You wanted a cross section, so not disadvantaged people, not just wealthy people, you wanted a little bit of everybody. Have you been able to execute on yeah. that? Yeah, so Amp Lab is an open lottery, which means there's no criteria. So to what we talked about, um, you don't have to have a certain GPA or certain attend attendance metrics um, to be a candidate. And so we were nervous because in that lottery, um, it was blind. Mm -hmm. We knew who the kid was, where they went to school, but we didn't know anything about them. And so once that original cohort was accepted, we then found that it truly is Fort Wayne. So we're 66% minority, 55% female, and we have students from, I believe, 18 uh, zip codes. We represent students that have been academically successful forever and students that have never um, had success in school before. So when you really think about um, a true melting pot, we've seen that come to life in this first year. That's perfect, that's great. All right, so now our first conversation was concept. Now we've seen you with implementation. What's something that's going well and what's something that maybe you wanna work on a little bit here? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we, we dreamed that we could really create this place for students to be curious and chase their dreams. And I think that's happening. Mm -hmm. And so just seeing that come to life has been really awesome. And I think, you know, as we grow, continuing to push the envelope on like what school can be and what role it can play um, in the community, I think we've got the opportunity here to continue to even blow up that box and really um, change the way that a 17 or 18 year old engages the community um, as a part of that school experience. Yeah, I feel like this has the potential to maybe reevaluate how all schools are done. This is kind of a little, you know, experimentation and then if it goes well, which it seems to be, then, you know, you can apply that to others. But so what's something that maybe you think, all right, this is an opportunity for improvement now that you've kind of seen it go from yeah, you know, concept think, to creation? You know, I think we had so many, but everything was new, mm -hmm. right? And so um, the newness fatigue, um, a great example was we really focused on, you know, our students, their experiences wrapped around um, core competencies. And we played with a couple different ways that students show their mastery in that and um, with some epic failures. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think continuing to explore how do students show this experience? How do they translate it to sell themselves, to apply for scholarships, to apply for internships, to seek out uh, employment opportunity? So I think that's something that we really are gonna continue to explore. How do we get better at that? How do we learn what um, needs to be told and what doesn't? It doesn't translate to the traditional um, A through F sure. report card. So how do we bring that to life so it's valuable for students? That's great. Well, you know, we're a huge supporter. I want you to keep pushing the envelope. I think this project is incredible and thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you. All right. So as you can see, Riley and the entire staff are onto something incredible here. It's cutting edge, it's pushing the boundaries. If you're interested in getting involved, we're gonna link to how you can connect with them and be on the lookout for more content at this incredible space.